Hey guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sayers, back here from the Music Factory Studios. All right, I know, I know I haven't put out a whole lot of content, but I found something really cool, and I know I haven't done a whole lot with uh, Linux and open source, so I thought, why not? Let's do something. All right, so I've got this new desktop environment and new OS called Dahlia OS. It's based on Linux and Fuchsia. So not only the Linux kernel, but the Zircon kernel. So Google has come up with this new operating system paradigm and new kernel. It's called the, the, the Zircon kernel and Fuchsia OS. And basically, this distribution has taken that and made Dahlia OS, and they're calling the desktop environment the Pangolin desktop. So this should be interesting. As you can see, the icons kind of have a Papyrus slash Chrome OS kind of look to them. Um, and their, going, their mission statement is to have internet recovery powered by both Fuchsia and Linux. So they're going to use the Zircon kernel and the Linux kernel. And uh, both the images provide the same great desktop experience. So you'll be able to choose between the two. Multitasking. Optimized for every platform, it says. Uh, free and open source. It's going to be a rolling release. It's going to have built-in containers. And it's going to be developer-friendly. You can head over to their GitHub page and check it out. It's kind of like GNOME meets Chrome OS meets Deepin. It really has that QT feel with GTK on top of it. So it's pretty cool the way it looks. Um, we'll go ahead and boot into it and see what happens with Dahlia OS. Now, the original time I tried to boot into this desktop, I tried my Ryzen 2200G and I tried it with the 550X and without the 550X GPU inside of it and it just would not boot. So I grabbed the 550, put it in this 7100 machine and it still wouldn't boot. So if you've got an AMD graphics card and you want to try this out, probably not right now is a good time. So. If you're running Intel graphics, you'll probably be, probably be okay. But uh, it looks to be kind of a Chrome OS meets, I don't know, QT or the, the uh, QT Quick. It makes me think of if GNOME, Deepin, and Chrome OS had a child, this is what it would look like. Okay, now nothing really works. It's all in the debugging demo phase here, but uh, it works and it looks pretty good. You know, everything seems to be okie dokie with okie dokie. What am I like six? <laughs> uh, everything seems to work okay. Um, now, as far as as doing anything there's nothing you can really do here um let's see if we can do really anything here so we can change the color here let's see if we can go to dark mode yes so we can do dark mode as you can see there's a graphics issue if you look right there on the on the screen there's this line up here is when you get to the top of the client decorations i think that's what this is called is the proper name for it so you've got your connections you can do Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Warning, you are on a pre-release build of Dahlia OS. Some features may not work as intended. Volume and sound. So everything seems to be there. I like this unified uh, settings application. This looks good. Um, you can enable the blur effect or take the blur effect away. Let's see if it has an animation for minimize and maximize. Not right now. Maybe that was part of the blur effect. We'll turn it back on. Um, feature not implemented. Huh. So we can have the uh, different colors here. I'm going to go with something bright so I can see it. Um, yeah. That's probably a good one. Or yellow. Yellow is probably good. Yeah, we'll go with... Oh, here's a light blue. That's not too bad. Um, 
enable a colored title bar or you can turn that off apparently if it's on it's on so you can turn off the colored title bars like the chrome os themes if you've tried those for linux each one of the title bars will be a random color um you can turn that off which that's pretty cool i like that because that always seems kind of i don't know a little childish to me to have like every title bar be a different color but uh you can center the taskbar icons but it didn't so eh, it's a free release what else we got here uh wide launcher mode okay let's see what that looks like wide launcher mode and oh it's this button will look different okay interesting enable color title bar we'll turn that back on just leave it on turn this off um let's see here what else we got applications you can manage your applications security settings settings for security and privacy your accounts internet backup as they were talking about on their website uh, advanced features and there's not much going on here we've got automatic time and date seconds 24 hour time let's see if seconds pops up there yep if you look here in the corner that's pretty nice you can invert the colors from here. You can do a lot of things from this little panel here, like you can in Chrome OS. And let's see what else we got. We got an updates panel. Nice. Um, and we also have about the device. Enable developer options is on. And, you know, everything seems to be working as it's supposed to. It also has a blue light filter. It doesn't work and you can adjust the screen resolution once it's done that'll be really nice see like on windows here's one thing i do like about windows if i've got an amd gpu in my machine i can take a 1080p screen and use this super resolution mode on the gpu which basically takes that 1080p screen doubles it to 4k or quadruples it to 4k and then you basically it turns a 1080p screen into a 4k retina screen in quotation marks and everything just looks better it looks cleaner clearer and that's a really nice feature so you take basically a 1080p screen and it turns it up to 3840 by 2160 and then turns up the scaling to 200 and now the fonts don't look all weird in windows and stuff so that's really nice that's a cool option to have now i like this settings page Let's see, we've got a calculator. Let's see if it's working. Two plus two equals four. So it's working. That's nice. You also have these other options for the calculator. You've got a terminal here. Let's see if I can use the terminal at all. Doesn't seem like I can use the terminal at all. Um, oh, here we go. Let's see if we can do you name dash a and see what it's running okay we're running the linux kernel that apparently they've built themselves 510 you name dash v to see what version it is okay now let's see let's try top top is installed so that's handy and you know it's not going to use a whole lot of power H top is not installed. I can tell you that by just the sheer amount of. Let's see if NeoFetch is installed. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Let me do this. Maybe H top is installed. So we'll go H top. And then H top. There we go. It's all broken but it's there. <laughs> That's kind of nice. We'll uh, quit HTOP. Uh, let's see if NeoFetch is installed by some odd chance. Hey, look at there. So it's Dahlia OS, and we're on the HP Slimline, which is an i3-7100, and I'm using the Intel graphics. I've got 16 gigs of RAM shoved in this thing, hoping that would make it a little easier and it wouldn't freak out. I started to go with eight, and then I'm like, mm, no, that might be a bad idea. So, let's see what happens if we go to the help page. Do we get any info? Here we go. 
GNU, the GNU Bash version is 5.0.18. The shell commands are defined internally, and it gives you the basic shell commands here for you know basic stuff. Now let's see if a pretty well-known option here known as INXI is installed. Nope. Okay. So, I mean, hey, it's got HTOP, sort of. <laughs> and here's their file manager. Let's see what it's going to let's see if it'll let me check any info here. Create a new folder. Nope. Um, it's just going to be called the files app. Let's see what else we got here got a terminal task manager we checked out the settings we checked out here's the root terminal let's see if this gives us uh, a better look at htop not really htop's just kind of broken here as you can see <laughs> so no doesn't make it any better we also have a text editor and everything looks clean and nice. It has that sort of desktop meets sort of mobile kind of feel like Chrome OS has. Uh, what is Graft? Interesting. Oh, it's a containers application. Nice. For virtual machines. Interesting. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let's see, we've got the welcome screen, developer options, so you can reboot, shut down, enter command line mode, uh, induce kernel panic, execute fork bomb, clear local database, and show test notifications. Interesting. Uh, we got a web browser, Dahlia OS. Let's see if it'll let me check out youtube.com or if it's just uh, a placeholder. But you should be able to check out some of the interesting stuff here. Flutter. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go back. Build information. You can check out the release notes. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's pretty handy, you know. Um, here is the credits to those who are working on Dahlia OS. Well, that's a pretty good team there. A lot of people. It's not just one single developer. So that's awesome. And you basically have a clock. <laughs> and that's it. But I think this Pangolin desktop has, you know, uh, a good chance of being something new in the Linux slash open source world. This feels nice. It's just nothing works. Um, window snapping is not in this um, desktop environment, this Pangolin desktop environment. So I've tried everything. Oh, let me try something real quick. Let me see if touch works. Give me just one second. Okay, so touch works. Wow. Yeah, I got up, went over and touched the screen. So <laughs> it's like eight feet away. But uh, touch works in this desktop environment already. I have an Asus VT229, I think is what it is. And it's a touch screen and it works really well. So this has been Dahlia OS. And I think uh, you ought to check it out when it's a little more mature. But it gives us basically that really nice polished Chrome OS desktop with Linux. I don't know why nobody's forked that. You know it's open source or it should be. And I know there's like Chromium OS and those things. But why isn't somebody just taking the desktop environment and just like, hey, here's GTK apps or something on top of it. Kind of weird that that hasn't happened yet. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. But... This is the Pangolin desktop environment and Dahlia OS. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching and listening to me rant. <laughs>
If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And since you're already here on YouTube, check out one of these videos on your screen now. All right, guys and gals, we'll see you next time. Have a great day, y'all.